So the final score in here at the Quadra Tech West Road finished in Ives Town 3, El Church 1. Unbeaten run stretches to 4. Here's, the, here's Ricky Mahenegy, St Ives Town manager. You must be delighted with that performance. Four games unbeaten now. Yeah, it makes worthwhile not being able to feel my toes for the last hour and a half. So I thought it was another really good game. I thought two really good teams again. Um, similar to Saturday, it was played in the right way. Some really good football, some really good opportunities um, for both teams. And yeah, just... I think the game was won with the second goal. We scored the second goal at the right time because I felt like we were under a little bit of pressure at that time. Um, not in terms of pressure on a goal, but pressure with possession. They were starting to build some momentum and, and I think that the goal just knocked the stuffing out of them and then the third one obviously obviously killed it. But I thought, you know, it's like you said, it's four unbeaten. Um, we're in good form. We're playing well. We're defending well. Um, and that the spirits in the camp are good, we just gotta to continue to try and build on it. Shouldn't the hyper effect how decent our church are? We had a good season despite a lowly position with their FA Cup run and so forth. A lot of decent players on the team as well, which makes even more of a win look more impressive. Yeah, I think um they're young, very young. Um, but they're an exceptional group. You know, I've I've seen them play this year and uh they were outstanding in the game I watched, obviously the, the cup run they've they they've had as well feel probably unfortunately for them they might just still not quite recovered from that from that cup run and then with the weather and the games being called off and you're chasing games and you're chasing points um, it becomes difficult no matter how good a team you are there's there's added pressure on you so we had to try and play on that we had to try and uh, we said that the first goal was always important the second goal was massive um, and, and that was our, our plan today was to try and get those two goals because regardless of whether it was a clean sheet or whether they'd scored one, we felt that the second goal would, would win the game. It does in most games. Um, and, you know, we were, we, I think we were fortunate that we managed to do that tonight. Yeah, and um, just look at the all-round performance, obviously a really good all-round performance, but some of the new players or newish players that have come in, highlighted by Ben Tozant, whose contribution has been outstanding since he's been here. Yeah, I thought he had a wobble yeah. for, yeah. for half an hour last week in the second half. Okay. Um, but he's, he's good, you know, he's, he's been great since he's come. We don't know what the situation is, um, whether it's going to be extended or not. But, you know, it's, it's easy to highlight players. You know, I said that the, the score in the second goal was, was probably the pivotal moment of the game today. But you just looked at our bench in the last two games and, and the strength and depth in the squad. And you've got Callum Milne, who's been outstanding all season, just training really well, um, ready, fighting to get back in the, in the team. You've got Ed Hotter. Um, and then you've got Greg Casaboni, Enoch and, and Nabil Sharif, who um, if you've got players that you can bring on to see games out and players that when you need a goal, you can bring on to score, it, it helps massively. And, you know, the, the, the substitutions have ultimately come on today, been ready to come on um, and have, have scored the two important goals that have um, helped get us a three points. So I think as a squad, as a whole at the moment, the 16, Charlie Johnson is recovering from injury, but should be back next week. That's 17. And James Goff, 18. It's a it's a really good group of 18 players that we've got working and fighting for for those 16 places in the squad and and those 11 places in the in the starting team. And as long as that competition's there and the players are doing their job, you know, hopefully we'll can continue to get performances like we have in the in the last four games. I was going to say as well because there's quite a few away games coming up. I think in February and, and now obviously quite a bit of competition for places. And the first away game is um, at least on Saturday, which I guess is quite a tough game given their position in the league. I think they're all tough yeah. I say it all the time you look at league tables and you go or you're travelling to the team that third in the league away from home it's going to be no more difficult than it was tonight um, you know Albert Church can quite comfortably go to, to Leaston and beat them um, so I, I don't look at the league table um, and look at league positions and think that one's going to be tougher than, than any other we just need to make sure we play well and we have in the last four games it's four unbeaten it's eight points. You know, it could have been if we had managed to hold on against Hendersford. Uh, you're looking at ten points from those four. Eight, it is, but we're, we're that's good form, and and I think that form has been since we bought in James Dadge, mm -hmm. Kevin Hickinson, um, and Ben Tosland, and we've created an environment within the squad where there's competition for places. And I think prior to that, when you've got 13, 14, 12 fit players, 
those players don't have to work to, to get in the squad and stay in the squad. Players now have to work to get in the squad. They have to perform well to stay in the squad. Um, and the starting team are, are fighting to, to make sure that they're part of it. So as long as we keep that competitiveness um, within the group, we, we've got a chance of, uh, of continuing to put in performances like we have of late. I think I'm up to 10th now by my co the based on the games in the league tonight. So uh, edging towards a nice little, little target, which you've set yourself. Yeah, look, I've <laughs> s- s- I say it all the time, we'll end up where we end up. Um, you start getting carried away with yourselves and you lose a few, you get dragged into a relegation fight. You know, we've, we've been there four games ago um, where you're looking over your shoulder and people say, oh, you know, they're getting closer to the relegation and you win a few and people go, oh, you need a playoff. So we've we set out a target of, of what we wanted to try and achieve. We've got a points per block of games and look, we'll just continue to, to do what we're doing. Um, go quietly about our business. Um, we'll have some, definitely have some more ups throughout the season and we'll definitely have some more lows. It's about just everyone staying together, sticking together, the supporters stand behind the team. Good crowd today for a freezing Tuesday night. Again, we appreciate that. Um, and, you know, at the moment we're at a good place. So let's, let's continue to try and stay where we are and build on it. That's great. Cheers, Ricky. Right, thank, thank you. you.